Um, you see, the most beautiful thing about Soweto is that um, when we do our thing, we do it, you know. There is that unism, that uh, being uh, togetherness, you know what I'm saying? It's a nice place. I enjoy the place. No one can get bored in Soweto. Yeah. That's how I can prove it. You know? Yeah. Hard things. May, may I can only say uh, crime. There's a lot of... Uh, Drugs, pregnant. The waiting. Sometimes I hate the waiting. We are having it easier than a lot of townships, you know. We are very, 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 very happy and satisfied to be so attend. I can see just it's just a nice place. Yeah, cool. Um, and there's so much talent here in Soweto. That's what makes me, you know, love the place and, you know, love to be part of whatever that is happening in Soweto. Uh, Soweto, uh, since uh, 1994, when we got a uh, 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 freedom, uh, things changed. Soweto is not 1976. No. No. Soweto is now. now. No. And now we are happy to be Sowetans. Yeah, I mean, it's Soweto, it is history, it is everything here, you know, a lot of things uh, are happening here, sure. Most people here in Soweto, they are not disciplined in a way, you know, but, um, yeah, besides that, I mean, everything is just magnifico. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Man. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Got you. The thing that I love most about Soweto, that feeling somehow that I'm home. There's something here that I feel like, yes, this is home. Meaning that uh, Murga together, so it Nati means together. Yeah. Murga, Murga! Nati! Murga, Murga! Nati! Murga, Murga! One! Murga, Murga! Two! Murga, Murga! Three! Murga, Murga! Four! Murga, Murga! Five! Murga, Murga! Six! Murga, Murga! We are, we are mixing up here. We are mixed up here. So it's flour, water, and sugar. See what we are doing? We do our own glue. It's a homemade glue. Uh, Murga is a kind of a street parade, eh? 
with four disciplines. We have music, we have theater, or drama, or spoken word. Uh, we have costume, and we have dance. And Murgai was brought by uh, the slaves at that time from West Africa to South America, to Argentina. And for them it was a kind of a voice that they had. What's the function? Bringing people together, learning about the culture. How do you, uh, how do you speak? What do you do? What's your music? Every community had its own Murga, every community had its own colors, its way of dancing, of talking. I don't know what is going to be over here in Soweto. So we tried a short while to work together, to find each other, to feel each other, from Soweto, from Belgium, from Argentina, from Morocco, from so, ah, I don't know, we come together, we make something strong. We divide ourselves in groups. We have a group for music, we have a group for theater, we have a group for uh, dance, and then costume, time to time, we are going together with costume. South Africa was not made by one person. No. South Africa was not made by a man, but South Africa made many men. You know. So like please people stop giving us the light or directing the light, you know. We know who is important for us. People from overseas should come here and listen to South African stories and be interested in South African stories, even after buying expensive books, but be interested in stories from a person from the street, because that's where real is, you know. We are not from the books, man. Our ancestors are not from the books, you know. Like our ancestors are living and dying and bleeding for South Africa every day, being exploited by different systems and systems and systems. So South Africa is full of other people, even us from Soweto. As I said, we are having the opportunity to be important, you know, but it's not about us. 
it's about everyone else you know because the same story that i have is the same story that you want to get in another township that doesn't have the light like in so so for us it is from us and by us and to us to represent everyone Go straight up, no turn, straight up. They all came together here and they had a meeting. The meeting was based men on drafting a freedom charter which can, can accommodate all races living in South Africa. You know, like it, as a way of stopping like you know apartheid. You know, so these are the ten commandments which they came up with. In 2005, they launched this place officially and they started building like these structures, you know. Like this one, it's, 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 it's a resemblance of um, like African houses where, where people install like goods in, you know. But, but for now, it, it, it houses the Freedom Charter, which it's, it's about doing good to, uh, to, to people of South Africa, you know, at large. 
And then over there, there's a tower like this one, which is made out of sand, you know. And then that one is the resemblance, or it's, it depicts the life of the squatter camp across the railway line, you know. It's called Sisulu Square. Because Walter Sisulu is one of the political leaders, and he became a mentor of Mandela when Mandela started joining the NC, you know, at the early age, you know. So Mandela used to, 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 to have like uh, a place of privacy, you know, a corner those days because he used to be hunted down. So Clip Town was, was the area for them to come and squat, like a squatter camp, you know. Home come to season. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You know. If you want to come in and put a shack, you don't have to struggle that much. If you know, if you know someone who has got an open space to come and talk to, to him or her and then allows you, you know, to put, to put a shack, you know. Because, uh, it, it, I mean, there's no point, there's no comfort in waiting for the government, you know, uh, to come and build houses for people. This is the tap, two taps in one street. So all this street here, you know, they're using the very same tap. Like over the weekends, it's a big queue because others, they want, they want to come and do washing. Others, they want to come and fetch water to go and use in the household. So it's very quite complicated. And um, as you can see, um, like this is the hall where it was like this, there, there are pipes under, under the soil which drives the waste to the riverside, but it's been blocked because uh, others they come, they come with uh, like you know leftovers of food, you know, they just pour in and then it, it blocks the, the, the drain. As it, that is why you're seeing like this running waters.
Okay, how is it everybody? Okay, right here we've got the Opa. He's the one who's making the pass of Murga. Yes? Yeah. I'll be the pass driver. This is my pass actually. It's still in process of the making. I'm going to have windows. Actually, I shouldn't explain it to you. You just see it afterwards, okay? Okay, right, right now we're going to move to another workshop. A costume. Okay, here we've got a designer who is Joanna making a costume. This is all oh, awful nice. That's very creative. You come with me to Femcast Group. Okay, right here in Femcast Group, they are printing. Okay, right, they've got their own machine. Here we go, she's going to put something on the t-shirt. Yeah, fit, I know we've been busy this day. We haven't had time to relax, man. We've been like working every day, you know. You know, being busy, printing, you know, doing all uh, everything like that has been done here. Making, you know, like t-shirts, you know, printing t-shirts, you know, like uh, putting the logos. So uh, yeah, I'm feeling the exhausted, man. You can feel me. How's my eyes? <laughs> As you can see, this is the flag of Morga. Uh, so um, it's for the people to see that just to draw their attention, you know, so that people can read and understand and see different look, drawings so that they can relate with, you know. This artwork that I'm doing here, it's about a lady, you know, washing dishes, you know, uh, outside on the floor. It's, it's what you find, you know, um, mostly around Soweto, you know, because uh, there's in most of our homes, there's no proper infrastructure whereby, so especially like in a shack, find out that the shack, it's more like it's a room at night and then during the day it's, it's, it's a kitchen, you know, and there's no, no, there's like, in some, like, you know, our house, there's no tables. So they use the floor just to, you know, uh, wash dishes or do the laundry and stuff like that. So that's what I'm trying to depict throughout of this picture, here, you know. You know, we're working collectively as different artists, you know, uh, yeah. But it's, it's kind of like learning from each one and you teach what you know and you learn from someone else, you know. Because that's, that's, what, that's what Murga is all about. My phone name, Gladys. Mamiki. Mamiki. Moabi. Moabi. Yes. So I started with my kids actually and my younger sister's child. This boy you see here dancing in front with little girl. I started with them, then they asked me, mother, 
can we go and call uh, our friends to come dance with us? I told them, no problem. Go and call them. Then they started coming. I've got uh, maybe 35 kids to 40. You know why I started this? She died 19... 1990. Yeah, my granny died 1990. I used to think of her. And when I think of her, I started crying. Then my mother sees me crying like that and asks me, why are you crying? I said, no, nothing. I didn't want to tell her the truth, but thinking of my granny. Then I say, oh, she used to like this. Let me rather do this and forget about everything. Since I started this dance, I forgot about my granny. I'm happy every time. I'm doing this with the spirit. There it's mango groove, and then it's Tswana dance, and this one it's a gumboots dance article from a Delisan. I'm taking the kids from the street. Yes, it's my aim because of now 14 years it's already pregnant, 13 it's already pregnant. So that's why I'm thinking it's right when I'm doing some food, some workshop. with your school work first the school come first then the dance that's your future even this dance can be your future but the school first nobody will take your education they start at half past four till six o'clock I know at six o'clock once you go back home she's going to, 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 to meet her mother coming from work that's my duty every day with them. Even their parents are happy because they are safe. They are no more running around the street. They know, even the parents say, even if I'm at work, I know where's my child. My child is to that lady, Mamiki. Peppa! 
I teach, you know, music, art, you know. No, I'm a lone artist, like mostly I work alone. And then uh, I, I love to develop other people who love to the skill, you know, of art in the, any skill that they need. You know. Currently, I'm, 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 I'm uh, like I've been working with the kids, you know, around uh, my hood in my bed, like, you know, like giving them uh, classes of music yeah. and classes of uh, art, you know. Me, what I love, my mission, you know, my aims and my mission is to develop, you know, everyone in my community. So the main problem is that, you know, we don't have teachers who are qualified to do or to to do art or you know, to 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 teach, you know in terms of art in, in, in the schools, you understand? Yeah. In Soweto, there's so much talent we have, you know, so we, we don't know what to do with it, you know, so, and then, so I saw this opportunity to go to the school, you know, that was important for me to go to school and to showcase the, the art, the, you know, the, art, the, art, the artistic life to the, to the children there. After that, when you go to Pelecheng, I am a dancer Krobraka. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good with kids as well, you know. I enjoy working with kids, you know. Yeah, like about three, it's okay. I know it's cold, but we're gonna just warm up, next. Warm up by marching, that's just like a move. Step, step your feet. Left, right, left, right. I've learned to understand the kids much more better than dealing with elder, older, older, older performers, you know. I enjoy working with kids, you know, yeah. Actually, maybe it's because of I enjoy teaching, you know, maybe more than someone who already know, you know. I enjoy studying everything from the basic. Maybe that is why I enjoy working with kids. Forward. Up. Down. To the side. Up. Hold down. Okay, one, two, go.
last day that you've been waiting for, right? So we need you to enjoy yourselves. Yes, working for three weeks. So yeah, enjoy yourselves Zach. all the way, right? This is your day, this is your day. Enjoy the day. Let's go back to 76. Streets mm -hmm. full of kids. Stones. Kids were burning schools, offices. Even my bus was burned. You know what was that? It was a riot. People fighting for their rights. Amanda! They were singing the song, Senzenina. Senzenina, a song of tears. A song of blood. It was also a question to a government. What have we done since then now? Yeah. 
Amba kwa bibi. They were singing a song saying. You know, we, we, we have a way of possessing our energy instead of using our energy to destroy our land. You can see, like, like we are all a big happy family. We are all a big happy family. It's bringing people together, you know, getting to know each other. I mean, the, working with new people, new faces. You know what? We will record it again when there was bad play. <laughs> yeah. Coming together, we do the parade, that's where we get to know each other. We support each other whenever the other group does something, we support each other. If they dance, we dance together. If we sing, we sing together. If we do anything, we do anything together. That's more good. One for all and all for one. That's it. Yeah, one, that's the spirit. It must be a team two, spirit. You're not smiling. Yeah, right off. Show me. Show me. Ah, A lot of artistic, creative things, yeah. It's all about oneness, you know. It's all about getting together, you know, showing, you know, actually networking, you know, all those kind of things, you know. It's all about uh, finding new experiences, you know, uh, in terms of art and stuff, yeah. It's a, it's a nice experience.
it's like um, being free in a way, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Jonathan Butler. Do you know the name of the song? No, I forgot. <laughs> Serious, man. I forgot the name of the song. But I'll tell you maybe later, you know, if I remember, yeah. Okay. That's Take a boot to cook, but the food's not enough. We're gonna dance to your music and dance. Why? Dance to your music and dance. Why? Why? Forget your troubles and come and dance. Forget your weakness and come dance. Why dance to the music and dance? I can't stop living now, it gets so high. The rich and the poor, yes, they start to cry. Now the weak must get stronger. They say it's a tribulation, we're gonna dance to your music and dance why dance to your music dance why yeah that was it man. 